Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today, we are doing another medic run, but I am going to change my perks. Uh, resilience, I feel like is better than symbiotic health. Combat doctor is obviously better than treating teammates, and acidic rounds obviously better than focus injection. Um, I wish I could get this because that's pretty good, and this is also like really good. But you know, I prestiged. Can't use them. We're doing uh, West London. Good old classic KF1. And uh, we're gonna be doing some more solo medic. I love the HRG incision. As bizarre of a weapon as it is. It is just a fun weapon to use, you know. So, I'll probably be using it a lot. If I, if I ever make a perk guide, I think it might get a, a point in the solo medic um, side of things. Because I think it is actually like a, a very acceptable weapon for solo medic runs. But... Not, not for the, not for the teammate stuff, but it's fun. So we're gonna be using it. This is the uh, the second video of KF2 I am publishing. We'll actually see if it gets published. I've recorded so many videos. I'm trying to be entertaining, you know. And it's really hard because, hello. Yeah, you have you have so many things to focus on in KF2. You know, like where all of the Zeds are and. Your health, ammunition, dosh. I mean, there's so many things to be concerning yourself with at any given moment that also worrying about talking and entertaining people is just... It's rough. I feel like that's why there aren't really any entertaining um, KF2 YouTubers. Like, there's lots of KF2 YouTubers who are good, and I enjoy watching them, and I have fun. But not because they're entertaining personalities, you know, no offense, but... You, you know... Watching a team of people sit there and be like... Pushed. Heals. Heals, heals. Need to freeze. I mean, it's just not fun, you know? It's not entertaining. It, the, the entertaining part is their skill level and whatnot, and that's super impressive, but... From a, you know, content production um, perspective, I mean, it's pretty low quality stuff, right? I'm, I'm trying to be nice about it, you know, because I, I like their content too. I watch them, but it's not the content that I want. I want like a, you know, like a Minecraft Let's Player style KF2 Thing, or like, uh, you know, Northern Lion style stuff, you know, where they just kind of play, ramble about whatever, and uh, carry on. And that, that's not something that's ever done, because once you're into the high level KF2 stuff, you can't really do that while you're playing, because it's just such a high octane game, you know. So, I'm going to try to do that, because I'm not good enough to do that high level stuff. I hate these stupid Edars. Why? Why do they have to exist? Hey, I didn't think you could exist in hard. I thought they... I thought the... The, I don't know what they're called, the blue crawlers? I thought they only existed in uh, Suicidal and Above. God, I am just bad. I thought they only existed in Suicidal and Above. I don't know. I guess they don't. That was the last one. Get to the indicated part There's our incision. It's probably going to be a lot harder on this map because of how much... Um, more clo- oh, I wanted that weapon. I shouldn't have skipped. 
because of how much more closed off it is. You know, you don't have like a big open area where you only have enemies approaching from like, oops, basically one side. You know, you've got enemies approaching from all sides and you have to kind of manage that. And uh, that's going to make this one a lot harder. I also just uh, ate some chocolate, so my uh, throat's all gummed up. You have to keep muting and well, clearing my throat. Otherwise, it's all gross on the camera. That's nobody wants that. Nobody wants that, you know. Can they spawn up here? I know that in um, KF1 they definitely can, but like I see them falling. Okay, yeah. I don't know if they're actually spawning up there or if they just, like, came into existence on the bottom, you know? Because some of these, uh, like, maps where they, um, make something, they just, like, take the model and then they're just like, I don't know how to put it up there, so we're just going to put it down here. That's close enough, and then it's not... God, why am I bad? It's not really the same thing, you know? And I'm like, that's not... I want them spawning up there. I mean, really, when you go for KF1 maps and KF2, it's kind of a different experience altogether because of the different way that things actually spawn to begin with anyway. Uh, can you pierce with this? Oh, yes, you can. Can I? Let, let, let's, let's go for a, a piercing shot on these guys. Boom, babe. Nice. Such a satisfying playstyle. I don't know why. Because it's just the rail. Like, I don't like the railgun. When I'm playing a stripe, I hate the railgun. I guess it's because of the, like, pseudo infinite ammunition. And the, like, two different weapon types in one weapon. I don't know. It's just a really satisfying playstyle. So I guess if I two shot the flesh pound even without um the do we get damage for no we don't get a passive damage bonus so if i two shot the flesh pound without upgrading the hrg incision i guess it doesn't really do anything it doesn't actually do any like it doesn't change anything from a hits to kill perspective you know um but i'll do it anyway might be good habit these should be broken, though. Because this is supposed to be dark. Found a shiny new weapon. Yeah, this is all supposed to be, like, pitch black. I just played this map the other day in KF1. With, uh, with a friend of me. With a friend of me! With a, uh, a friend of mine. He doesn't own KF2, but... He does own KF1, so we downloaded it and played around in uh, a few maps. Did a few rounds. There was this one, and then there was the, uh... What was the other one? Boots, guys. We got something. It's like the farm place, whatever. The like big giant. God, I am just tilted. It's like a gigantic open field. Lots of shadows and darkness and grossness. You be dead. Okay. Get out of the tunnel. Hit them too, you know? Hit them. It helps to hit them. What are we here, boys and girls? Shooting enemies does indeed help with the uh, the killing them. Believe it or not, some people think it doesn't, but I have a theory that accurately hitting the enemies is actually what causes them to die. It's a crazy thought, I know, but what if, you know? We just have a scrake. That's okay. I don't mind a scrake. I am worried about a flesh pound right now because I'm not sure I can uh, keep him from enra enraging. Okay. I thought maybe the dart would be enough to explode it, but no, it's not. You need the actual shot to explode the uh, that guy. 
Hey, if you're gonna just one-shot him anyway, you may as well just go for the one-shot, right? <laughs> See ya! Oh, okay, I thought, I thought I got another headshot on you. I guess I didn't. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Is that a... That sounds like a real flash. Nope. Quarter found. Not bothered by you. I guess there's some kind of... Oh! It's... There is a dot because I'm a medic and I'm shooting with uh, the acidic rounds. Oh, that's awesome. So I can one-shot the quarter pounds with this. With that. That is... Oop. I should have darted that. That's really cool, actually. One shot kills them with the... Uh, I thought it was the Flesh Pounds killing each other, but I guess it was the, the dot, actually, that was finishing them off. What did I know, right? So he doesn't... I can one shot a Scrake? <laughs> what? That's incredible! I can't afford the shotgun. I thought I could, uh, hold... Oh, I have dual pistols. That'll do it. I would like the grenade rifle, but I can't really afford that. Go for, like, a... Something here, but, eh, not really anything. I'm not, like, showing off the HRG incision at this point. It's just, I can't not use it because it's actually just so good it's so much fun i i still think it is a bizarre weapon that has no place in the game um thankfully when i'm playing i don't see many medics uh using it in like public matches i wasn't paying attention to where he spawned i have no idea down there yeah I love his uh, sound effects. There's something here. Just can't see it. God, that dot is insanely powerful. I wonder if it scales based on like how much damage the initial hit did. Because that would be pretty cool if it did that, you know? I have I have no evidence that it does, but it feels like it's doing a lot more damage than uh, I'm used to. Uh... He's coming down here? Yeah, he is. You might want to run now. You might want to run now. Because, like, that is just some... incredible amounts of damage like that is an incredible amount of damage over time like holy crap that's insane what what <laughs> that's incredible that damage over time was like just Chunking away his health. Holy crap. You know, another thing I'm realizing with these videos is uh, I record them in one take. And uh, this is a bit of a behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, we're going to get out of this because I don't really want to be doing another one right now. Um, but normally I have a, uh, a script because I record in uh, MKV through OBS with uh, three different tracks. So the first track has both the, uh, I guess it has both the video, huh? All right, so I'll continue with my story and then I'll tell you why I'm stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the first track has um, voice and uh, game audio. 
the second track has ga uh, game audio and the third track has voice so when I'm editing it I can uh, edit the uh, the voice and the um, game separately which helps to keep audio balanced and whatnot but I have the audio balanced for this pretty well anyway um, so I don't really have to do that so I have a, a script that takes it from MKV to MP4 and purges the first track. So I end up with two tracks, two audio tracks in the .mp4 with the voice and the game audio. And then the first track that hasn't merged is, is gone. You have to have that first track so that when you're streaming, uh, you send both your voice and your audio. Anyway, um, point is, what I've been doing is I've been running the script to convert it to MP4, editing it, and then rendering it without actually like making any changes just so that I can get both of the tracks on one because I'm like, I don't want to figure out how to merge tracks with FFmpeg because I was trying to do the filter complexes and stuff and it was telling me that it's an invalid filter. And Anyway, point is, um, I am recording both of them on the first track so I can just upload it to YouTube and it'll just have it. So I'm dumb. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bit of a tangent. Not sure if anybody will understand what I just said. That's okay. I'm bad at explaining it. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.